Buzz, what determined who... How do I put a hole in this damn thing? Steve, please fix his coffee. Stop right. bothering him. <laughs> Steve. Which he doesn't want me to help him. No, why would he? He went to the moon. He doesn't need... He <laughs> <laughs> needs Steve helping. I'll help get your coffee hey, cup You over. ever felt like you're helped to death? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like a writer. That's all right, big boy. That's all right, big boy. Buzz, what determined... Um, with, with the painted yeah. extremities. What were you thinking as you, as you come down? I mean, you're, you're, you're landing on the moon. What's kind of going through your head as you, you're the first people to, to ever do this? Um, we're not really conscious of what's going through our head. We're responding sort of automatically uh, a, a, as if uh, you're in a helicopter or a lunar landing training vehicle. As long as it looks okay, you you, you keep going with what's okay. <laughs> you're all right. and if it doesn't look okay, then you start uh, doing something about it. So so you're not dreaming or conscious of what's going through your head. Just doing your your job at that point, I, I would gather. So I I was wondering uh, about the uh, the booster that takes you back up now to the command module. Uh, the SS you know, stage. You're wondering if that's going to fire. Uh, at some point, it, that has to cross well, you your mind. You, like you don't want it to fire until you want it to fire. Exactly. Yeah. Well, you don't want to be walking around and watch it uh, take off. That's for sure. But you also do want it to fire when you're you're in there, ready to leave. Uh, that that had to cross your mind too at some point. No. No. That that's it's called amazing. It, it, that's engineering it. faith. Engineering yeah. faith. Yeah. Faith in Grumman. I, I I obviously know about your um, your love for the skeptics. That uh, suggests that, uh, of course, none of this ever happened. Um, well, I am a skeptic. I, well, I'm I, a skeptic of Al Gore. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all are in a way. Uh, these these skeptics that that uh, say that this never happened, um, I can't even believe that they uh, come out with stuff like this. But you well, obviously they get, have been they outspoken. Get your attention. Why why do you uh, why are you interested in it? Because it's controversy. That's what your shows are built on. Hey, what's uh, what's wrong with this? What's wrong with that? Let's fix it. Right I away. can't stand those people because uh, it's 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 denial. It's some That's kind of do a, is ignore. Ignore. Uh, you're just feeding into their their routine. Well, I kind of remember one guy you didn't and quite ignore. That, besides <laughs> that, that was I, nice. I hate to say this, but I would hate to be taken in by a bunch of crackpots mm -hmm. and and enhance their purposes by. Uh, uh, feeding into their business of calling attention to them, because that's what, that's what they want. Well, I got to tell you, when 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 you kind of popped that guy, uh, I was very proud. That was a proud moment right there. What are you pointing at there? Oh, it's a, a, it's a, a hazardous world here. <laughs> it's a hazardous world. <laughs> hey, you know what's going on in about uh, forty-five minutes? What's well, that? Quietly, stealthily, the moon is going to get between the sun and the earth. Called an eclipse. An eclipse. Yeah. Dr. Uh, Edgar Mitchell, I think his name is, has, That's been, right. has been in the news a lot the last few days um, talking about extraterrestrial and how NASA's covering it up. And the NASA's being very nice about it, but they're saying, well, we, we disagree with them. I mean, do you, do you know? I'm sure you do know him. I mean, what's your, what's your take on it? Or a little... He's getting a lot of attention. Why? What do you think, Buzz? Is there aliens out there? I, I... Maybe. Are we alone? Maybe. We don't know. There is no evidence that says there exists life anywhere else in the universe. Ah, is that probable? No. It's very, very probable that you given the right conditions around uh, uh, billions and billions of suns, there's bound to be life that, that will generate itself just naturally, just mm -hmm. like it did uh, here in uh, our solar system uh, on, on the planet Earth.